How deeply have you considered the risk from a 51% hash attack? The Bitcoin white paper states that network participants would act in self-interest and observe proper protocols. Bitcoin and most cryptocurrencies secure the public blockchain ledgers with mining computers running proof-of-work algorithms. The blockchains remain secure until an attacker deploys over half of the mining power. The Bitcoin network is estimated to have over 4 million miners, which makes a 51% hash attack extremely expensive, but smaller networks are easier. By anchoring validation with the currency holders who have a stake in the system, their portion of mining awards is limited to their portion of the total currency. Attackers of proof-of-stake systems must own over half of the currency. Ferris's proof of power statistically combines both forms of proof, which are balanced to a target percentage of new blocks. Proof of power attackers will need over 51% of the mining power and over 51% of the currency. Verus also uses Komodo's crypto conditions, Zcash's sapling, and delayed proof of work of the Komodo and Bitcoin blockchains. By integrating these five methods into a hybrid proof of power system, Verus now has a formidable barrier to hash attacks. Reconsidering a 51% hash attack on Bitcoin, imagine a government, central bank, or other mafia buys 5 million ASIC computers for, let's say, $10 billion. That sounds like a lot of money, but remember, in one evening last September alone, the Federal Reserve Bank injected $250 billion into the overnight banking market, the repo market, just to keep the banking system liquid. So there are organizations that have that kind of money. So is Bitcoin's almost $200 billion market cap attractive enough for this sort of investment of an attack? Or are attackers waiting for a bigger payday? Thank you for listening.